We're at Accountex. It's the flagship show of Diversify, and I'm thrilled to have with me today from Canada, Steve Dempsey. Hello, Steve. Hello, welcome. This is your first <laughs> London Accountex, or are you a veteran of these things? Uh, this is my very first one. I'm a rookie. Wow. How are you <laughs> feeling about it? Do you like what you've seen? Amazing. It truly is uh, It's an experience. You look at it on paper, you look at it on the website, but when you get here, it's it's just at another level. Now, you're opening up Canada for Diversified, Steve, aren't you? Tell us a little bit about your plans. Uh, Diversified's been in Canada for about 20 years, uh, but we've never run anything like an account text before. Uh, and last fall, internally, we were sort of thinking, what can we do? Uh, and the decision was made to launch Canada, Spain, and Australia all within the next 12 months. Wow, big plans then. Yes, yes. What have you seen here that you think you could replicate in Canada? Because the geography is very different, isn't it? Uh, it is, it is, for sure. Um, the bones are going to be very similar to London uh, in that we'll have, we'll have the exhibit floor, we'll have theatres going on concurrently. Uh, some of the things we're going to be able to, to borrow and steal, naturally some of the, some of the vendors cross because they're global, yeah. um, but honestly a lot of the content and a lot of the, the streaming and thinking, it, it, it translates. Uh, the, the best part is, from what I've learned from everybody I've spoken to in Canada, surprisingly, given the geography that Canada has, Canada's actually behind in the adopting technology curve. I would have thought intuitively we would have been first, given how much geography we have, yeah. uh, but there's, there's a lot of potential because we are actually behind, especially uh, UK, Australia, and other regions. And what kind of conversations have you been having, Steve, over the last couple of days? Uh, a lot of it is, oh, you're going to Canada? That's exciting. <laughs> okay. Can we come along? Yeah, yes, yes. There's been a lot of interest to uh, have the excuse. Well, it's a beautiful part of the world. It's not Oh, well, that. thank you. I, I can't disagree. <laughs> and in terms of the conversations with accountants, what do you feel, certainly from the UK perspective, that they need right now? Uh, again, there really isn't a show in Canada, uh, kind of like Accountex here in, in the UK. Uh, that, that essentially serves up a neutral environment where everybody can come, the, the accountants can come and actually touch and feel and, and demo the different products and the different software and the different services that come with it yeah. to, to make it to make it whole. So that, that's really the unique selling point of Accountex London and that's the spirit that, that we're going to bring to uh, to, to Canada. Pardon me, we're live. Yes. So sneezes yes. Bless you. people walking by and everything else, we do get that a lot. Of. And Steve, what's going to be the biggest challenge then of, I can see how you might get the vendors there, I can see how you can get the thought leaders or the speakers there and build up a, a CPE, CPD type program. Mm -hmm. Getting the accountants themselves there, do they have an appetite for what we're offering here in the UK, do you think? Uh, that will be a challenge. Right. There, there's no, uh, no sugarcoating that. Uh, we will be offering verifiable CP, CPD credits for, for CPAs. Uh, we've actually partnered with the Payroll Institute of Canada. Uh, payroll professionals will also earn credit for coming to Accountex Canada. Uh, and we're very close to working with the Canadian Professional Bookkeepers Association uh, in a similar fashion. So from a, from a credit, you know, accredited or, or credit point of view, we'll have that, that box to check. Canadians are by uh, you know, our DNA a little bit uh, reserved and might take a wait and see. Um, what, more reserved than the British? Yeah, possibly, wow. possibly. We're cousins, so. <laughs> uh, but the market that we're probably going after is probably about 300,000 professionals conservatively. Okay. Uh, we're targeting to, to drive 1,000 over two days. I think it's an achievable target for the for the launch year, given the size that uh, the size of the market that we're going yeah. after. And Steve, you've got a, a big role in Diversified. You've been with them how long now? Uh, a little over ten years. Okay, so you know the fabric, the structure. You know the grand plans. Is it global domination for Diversified? Are you going to conquer the world? What's the vision? <laughs> Uh, Diversified does its best probably in the B2B space. Uh, there's a lot of great other uh, show organizers that do wonderful consumer shows and, and different things. Uh, in my opinion, at least in, in the North American space, we do, we do our best work when we're in B2B. Uh, and, and that's probably the knitting that we're going to stick to. And the accounting, fintech world, plans there? Spain's uh, opening up, I know that. Yeah, yeah, Spain, Australia, Canada, and obviously the UK. If, if, if we can launch and meet our, our you know, our self-imposed targets and, and those, those limits, you know, it would be wonderful to dream, to dream bigger for 2024, 2025. 
Well, we're thinking to 2023 already. I think. Oh yeah. I've seen the, uh, yeah. I've seen so, the dates coming up behind us right there yeah. for London. So this thing takes a bit of planning, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. It, it, it's probably two years out before another event might get launched. Yeah. Um, but again, it, a lot of it is listen to your customers. You know, listen, listen to the audience. What do they need? What do they want? And sky's the limit. Well, let me ask you what I you feel they need. Accountants, CPAs, what skills, attributes are they going to need to develop over the next few years to stay relevant and competitive in your eyes? Oh, that's a good question. I think that's my job asking the tough questions. No, no, it's your it's job good. to answer them. Yeah. <laughs> I can, yeah, we can, we can work that out. Um, I, I think it's hard to answer that as to one answer for sure, uh, one a size right? fits all. The smaller firms uh, that have gone digital, I think that they will be more nimble. And I think they'll move faster and be and adapt faster. Um, with with COVID, in Canada and COVID, we've been extremely conservative. Um, the, there's a lot of still, uh, you know, work from home models, hybrid models, and everything else. I, I think the firms that have that have engaged that hybrid philosophy and a digital uh, IT stack, if you will, they will be more nimble and they'll be able to grow and take on more clients quickly. The, the medium-sized firms, hopefully they're already there. Yeah. Um, and, and the large firms, we know that they're there in some aspects, but there's also this kind of, you know, the, the, the thumb that sort of says you need to be in the office three days a week. So I actually think there's gonna be a lot of staff turnover um, in, in the market. And the, you know, as a, as a CPA accountant, whether you're zero to five years experience or, or 15 or more, I think, you, I think you're gonna need to be literate on all platforms, um, you you may be a, a you know a zero user or a QuickBooks user. I think you're going to need to know a little bit about all of them uh, to grow the fastest. I, I, I think that's it's not so much a challenge that they need to overcome. I think it's like learning another language. I think it's just got to be part of that DNA. The council's going to be able to do that, Steve. Uh, I believe they will. You're I believe they will. Yeah. yeah okay. No. At, uh, my, my, what hope and expectation, maybe? My, well, my my, uh, my late father was a CPA. Okay. So I've got some personal experience on uh, on how it works. Uh, so. Final question, Steve. Uh, you seem like a very passionate guy. There's certainly a, a tough road ahead of you. You've got a big vision to sell. What excites you most about the next few years for Diversify? Oh. Well, one coming back to face-to-face -face events is, you know, it. Uh, That's good. Yeah, this is my first business trip in three years, wow. so it's uh, it's a lot. But uh, I honestly think the next 12, maybe even 15 months, uh, we're still coming back out of COVID. I think AccountX London is an anomaly. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful success. Don't get me wrong, but uh, a number of our events are not back to yeah, sure. 2019 levels, and I think it's going to take another. 12 to 15 months to, to get back there. Uh, depending on the product of, of type of event that we run, uh, I, I, I can see where we will have a live version of the event and then a pure virtual version of the event or digital, because ultimately they're going to be different audiences. Um, so there, there's a lot of room for growth, but I also think we need to we need to reimagine a little bit, you know, what we can do and the experiences we can bring and the fun factor. I like that. It's a good way to end. We've got to keep smiling about it, haven't we? Oh, face-to-face -face won't go away. It's not a matter of that. It might evolve. It might look different. But I think people, they, they want to come for work and business, and there's an ROI to it. And they also want to smile. They want to take a picture and, and post it at the same time. So a little bit of an entertainment and fun factor has got to... It's just got to be sprinkled in. Look, God, let's bear that in mind. Steve, thanks so much for your time. Oh, today. thank you. Absolute pleasure.